Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda, Fachic777, and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for the piece by piece. Now this particular project complements the mini album I just made. It was my last video I put out, the heart-shaped mini album called Adore. Uh, this kind of goes with it, it's just a little decor piece. You know, they can kind of sit side by side or whatever. And then I've made a card. Now these particular projects I'm going to show you today, this does complete this swap. Woo! Woo! Everything is going to go out into the mail on Monday. And this woman, I'm sure, will be ecstatic because she has been done for about six weeks now. She just kind of... she. I, I swear, one day she messaged me and said, okay, I'm going to get started, and I don't think it was a week later, I'm done! I'm like, what? Are, are you sure? <laughs> uh, I haven't started yet. So she's like, take your time! But anyway, I felt pretty guilty, but it's finally going out into the mail. Um, and then, of course, next up, you got it, another swap. And I've already kind of started prepping this stuff. It's going to be exciting. I've got a couple of projects picked out. She has requested a clock, and I found something so cool that I can transform. I hope it works. Anyway, um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the card I made. Now, this card, this particular card, was inspired by Tiffy, Mama Tiffy here on YouTube. Hey, honey. Um, and it doesn't look anything like the card she made except it has a bow on it. <laughs> Let me explain, you know, long story longer here before we get into looking at everything. She had just posted a couple pictures on Facebook of some cards she made for uh, her other design team. She's on Verve Stamps, I believe, if that's how you say it. And they're just beautiful. Tiffy is like the freaking queen of cards. She's the queen of everything, but cards are... Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. And one of them had this beautiful, spectacular, luscious bow on it. And I'm like, I've got to make a card with a big bow. So anyway, that inspired my whole card. So I'm going to move my sign out of the way. And I'll get my card into view here. So I'm sure you're dying to see it because I've been talking for like 10 minutes. Um, here it is. Just kind of give you a view right there up kind of far away for a minute. And I'll bring my camera in a little bit. Now, the papers I've used on this comes from Beverly's store. It is the Prima Divine Collection, of course. And this also chipboard is from the Prima Divine Collection. Here's my bow. Not as big as Tippy's, but I have a bow. <laughs> that inspired the whole thing. I know, a bow, but you know, whatever inspires us, right? And I believe this is the first time I've been wanting to do it for a while that I actually have got a banner. I've been wanting to do a banner on a project, and I finally did one, and I'm, I'm glad I finally did. Um, anyway, so I'll bring the card up a little bit closer so we can kind of get a view here, and we'll just kind of come down like this and kind of bring it up and around and show you what I've done here. Okay. Coming around. So like I said, the Divine Collection. And of course, I uh, sewed everything and inked everything with the Tim Holtz. I wanted to keep it all in line with the mini album, so I used the Tim Holtz ink, the tea dye. Um, did I say I distressed? Because I know I said I sewed everything. Sewed and distressed and added texture on everything. As you can see, I've got texture on everything. So Divine Collection, let's start at the top. Of course, I got a banner coming down. This is that uh, paper out of the Divine that's like the whole sheets, these little triangle triangular banner <laughs> pieces. Well, I could say that, huh? So there it is. And I've just glued it to some string across the top. And I put it up so it's dimensional up on, there you can see it, up on pop dots. And that way, too, I could slide my little chipboard piece under, under the banners there. And then I've got, you know, one big piece in the back. It's kind of got, you know, a floral piece on it from the Divine. And then I've got the strip. It's kind of the piece of the collage paper out of the uh, Divine collection. It goes all the way down through the center. You can see it again here at the bottom. Here I've got, it's also from the, everything is just a divine collection. I've got, it's a flag piece. Let me see if I can come over here. There, now you can see a little bit better. It's a, or a flag piece. <laughs> it's late, my brain's going a little faster. It is a ruler piece and I cut out and kind of made it like into a banner. A little flag type thing. There, I used the word flag the right way. <laughs> anyway, so that's at the bottom, kind of curled it up a little bit. 
over the top of that, of course, use some beautiful laces from Beverly's store. Um, this one is like this, I keep going side to side, I apologize, but this side has the better view. This is kind of this beautiful kind of yellow embroidered sheer lace. Really pretty. And then this fan lace. Love it. This has, I think, been most popular in her store. She was out of stock for a while. I don't know if it's back in, but I'll obviously be sure to check. And then over the top of this chipboard piece, I've got this little pearl trim that Beverly had sent me in my birthday rack. Uh, was that last month? Month and a half ago. Anyway, so then we've got the Divine uh, chipboard piece, and I stamped with an Allie Edwards stamp. Just says, Thinking of You on there. Okay, my bow is this beautiful silk ribbon that Beverly carries in her store. This is the real pale yellow, and she has black, and I believe I also noticed she has added white. This stuff, is just, it just gives it just a beautiful, you know, simplistic, just a, it's just beautiful. It just adds a touch of softness to any project because it just is so soft in itself and just lays so pretty, just adds such a finesse to it. Anyway, at the bottom of the bow, I've layered some flowers. I believe these are um, Wild Record Craft flowers and, you know, I Am Roses flowers. I mix and match them. On either side of the flowers, I've got some little wheat sprays from Beverly's store. And again, I've pulled them apart so they're a little bit more elongated. As I've said before, I like them better that way. I added a little butterfly here. This is a little Recollections butterfly. And then right down the side here, let me move this, I've added three halfback pearls that Beverly also carries in her shop. Okay, just a real simplistic card, but, you know, there it is. Let me bring my camera back out a little bit. I kind of think it's pretty, huh? Oh, and I didn't even, I just totally forgot because most of it's covered up. I have a little doily right down here underneath. I laid paper down, then a doily, and then I started layering on top. And then also, you can't even see it. I covered it up. I don't even know if you can see. Can you barely see a hint of blue back there? <laughs> it's this little die-cut transparency piece I had, and I layered it there for a little bit more um, kind of... I was trying to go with blues and kind of the teals and the pinks and, the you know, all the colors of the paper, but now you can't even see it, so if you just get a little hint right there. Anyway, so there's my card. And then the inside, it's, it's just blank. I've just kind of uh, textured up some paper from the collection and left a nice big spot to write something on. Oh, I got a little glue spot up here. There we go. Now I got oh, one there too. There we go. Now I got it. Yeah, just left it plain so I could write a message in there. And then the back's just plain, just has my stamp on it. Okay, so there's my card. I know. All right, you ready for the big, you know, finale here? The finale of the swap. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust my camera and move everything out to give you like a great big bird's eye view. Okay, and yep, got to bring everything like way out here. And it may not even be out far enough. All right, I'll bring my piece in and adjust a little more. And then I'll move my camera in and we'll get kind of up close and personal. Okay, so here it comes. We'll go clear to the very back. Got it. It's kind of stuck here. I textured it so that texture likes to get stuck. All right, did I get enough? Oh yeah. Okay, I got enough. Let me move my camera up just a little bit more though, so you can kind of see the whole thing. There we go. So there's the whole thing at a glance. Okay, and I do have it, as you can kind of notice, I do have it. This heart is hanging. It's hanging on a stand. The stand I actually got from Michael's. It's one of those stands that has, and you can get it like an 8x8 or 12x12. It's got the the 8x8 page protectors and the 12x12 page protectors that hang on it and you can make, you know, scrapbook pages and then they can flip over the top so you can display any page that you would like to display. So that's where the stand came from and I'll just kind of whip it around here and show you because you can see the stand a little bit better here. So there's the stand, okay? You can kind of see it right in here. It's a real beautiful stand, and it was, I really didn't want to paint it, but it just didn't go with what I was doing. A real beautiful, like, bronze color. But I went and took kind of an off-white paint and mixed with sand, as I usually have been doing, because I just love that. I just think it makes things look so shabby chic. And, um, you know, textured up the stand. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is kind of bring my camera down a little bit. 
and I'll bring it in and we'll just start to go in and, and, and check things out okay we start at the top let me see what kind of view I've got going on here okay and let's see I want to go in a little further and what I'll do is kind of pan down so there's the top okay top of the stand and we'll just kind of pan down I'll move my camera and then I'll get it locked up so you can kind of see the whole thing there's the heart and it goes down to the bottom I really love the swirlies you know the curls of the bottom of the stand so there's the bottom of the heart okay or the heart the bottom of the stand underneath the heart how about that okay alright so I'm gonna move back up just slowly go I don't want to make anyone you know sick of course alright I'll be moving the camera a lot but that's okay alright so we're gonna start in on the top okay so on the top what I've done is you know I wanted to make a little decor piece at the top since nothing's really gonna be you know flipping over although this could there's room I've left these sides blank that this could actually flip up and over if we wanted but what I did at the top um, I've got some flowers some I am roses flowers and wild orchid craft flowers here and here and I've textured everything, you know, I textured all the flowers, used the paint mixed with sand again to texture everything. And then I've got, this is a spray. These um, crocheted, four crocheted flowers is on a spray. It's got the curls on it. And this is I Am Rose's crocheted flower spray. But out one end, it actually had those little um, pearlized um pearls I don't know what you call them but like the flower centers off on one end so what I did is I cut that off and then I wired behind on the spray these little pink wheat sprays okay can you even see them in my on them let me see let me bring it in a little closer there you go can you see the little pink wheat sprays I don't even know if I was on them sorry you guys um because I'm trying to look at you know how we tried to look through the camera anyway right here little uh pink wheat spray I wired it so it would come off that end and then I wired it as you can see there so it would come off that end okay and then what I did is I took this whole spray basically and just kind of wired it to the stand alright and then I took the textured paint and I textured over the wire that is what is so great about textured paint because I was able to kind of cover up you know the wire and you don't even notice you know because I use like a silver wire um, and that's really nice and then at the top I put like a little nylon butterfly and I've of course glittered everything up with Lindy stamp gang but I'm gonna turn this around one more time because I just kinda wanna show you because you really can't even that's what I love about this texture paint right in here can you see it that's the wire right in there you could barely see it see I, all I did was texture real heavy to cover it so it's really kinda nice but that's what that texture paint does, covers it right up, okay? All right, I'll turn it back around. Just kind of want to show you that, just to give you an idea, you know, if you use texture paint and you want it, because I didn't want to just hot glue it and then it falls off. This way I know it's secure, okay? So let's move on down to the heart. So that's the top portion. Let's kind of move down to the heart. I'm sorry, got to adjust. I didn't mean to jerk there. Got to, like, unwind and move things, and, and then I'll bring this back out. No worries okay oh wrong way of course alright so there's my heart now this heart is I found it at an antique mall sorry about the glare and it's a crocheted heart it's stiff it was already stiff like that I had bound about three of them and I kept one and I believe I sent one to Juliana and one to um, Steph brown baby craftaholic and Juliana's I love vintage scrap and I kept one of them it's stiff like this I think it cost me 75 or 75 cents or a dollar love them they're already this color beautiful so um, fun to mess with so what I did is hung it on chain just use some jump rings and I looped the chain just around as you can see here just around that little f um, flip area okay and it was already white chain and I just kind of textured it up so let's kind of move on to the um, heart a little bit more let's go down this left side I'm gonna bring Cameron a little bit more sorry you guys there's a lot of jockeying around here but you know it's a big uh, big piece so as you can see on this left side here I've got flat back pearls 
I've got like five of them going down the side and those are from Beverly's store. Let me turn this just a pinch to the side here. Okay, those are from Beverly's store. You can see my flat back pearls. I've textured them up. Okay, going down. Then I've got a little Recollections Butterfly. Okay, right in here I've got some clear candy gems from Beverly's store. Okay, this is a beautiful just big kind of peachy pink flower um, in my stash. I got it from another supplier. Okay, and uh, then what I did over here as you can see is I've got a key and a lock also from my stash and it's hanging on one of those pins. I believe this pin right here, I believe those are Tim Holtz pins, huh? Those kind of large kind of um, vintage safety looking pins. Um, anyway, if it's not, I apologize. And then down through it, as you can see here, I've used again some of that leaf trim because all this stuff was kind of in the mini album. And like I said, I wanted to complement it. So that leaf trim goes kind of all the way down through this ensemble here. Okay, so I'm going to move this down a little bit more. We'll go down to the next step. Okay, I've got some flowers tucked in here, of course. This flower is uh, from the Divine Collection from Beverly Store. Okay, these flowers... You can see them. I'm going to bring them up. I've got two there. Those are handmade. Those are made out of lace from Beverly Store. I don't have any left, but I have something similar. I kind of want to show you what I used. It looks like this. This is the... Where am I? i got to move the camera. Here I am. Sorry. It looks like this, only it's sheer. Okay? And Beverly has it in her store. And all I literally did is a glue gun... And I just literally took and glued it and rolled it. That's all I did. Because I thought that would, the ruffles would make a cute little flower. So that's all I did to make the flowers. So out of the sheer little ruffled trim that looks like this in Beverly's store, that's how I made those. Okay? So those are kind of fun, huh? I kind of like them. Really cute and pretty. I'll bring it in a little bit closer and show you. Yeah, look at how cute those little flowers are. And then on top of those little flowers, I'm going to kind of turn it this way so we can get a view over this way. See, little flowers. I've got a little resin birdie, again, from Beverly Store. Another little rose up in here. Um, you can kind of see that leaf trim coming down here. I'm going to turn it again. And we'll adjust a little bit more. There's some more halfback pearls. Okay, and... Coming over this way. This is also from Beverly Store. These, the pink and the white, these are those clear like flower sprays, acrylic flower sprays in her store. I love these. They just add such a fun texture. And what I did, um, you know, it's a spray and so I just cut the flowers off and I've still got the leaves and everything. Cut that off and just kind of attached and glued them in there. And then Right amidst in here, as you can see, I'll bring this back out a bit, is a little bow. I just made a little bow out of um, laces from my stash. This is a um, pink seam binding that um, Steph, Brown Baby Craftaholic, gifted me. And in this one, and this one is just, like I said, lace out of my stash. Okay, and then I'm going to move this down a little bit more. Just going little by little, guys. Um, underneath that... I'm going to kind of tip this up a bit. I hope I'm not doing too much glare. Okay, underneath that bow, I've got some more. There you can see it. Another divine flower from Beverly's store. Okay, I've got an, just another little, you know, um, Wild Worker Craft flower. There you can see my leaf trim. Here's some more candy gems from Beverly's store. Okay, now in the center, what I did is the heart is see-through. So what I did is I have some acrylic and I cut out to cover the heart, okay? And then I made another sheet of acrylic and I stamped on it the word forever and I backed them together, okay? And then behind it is paper from, I believe, the Fairy Rhymes collection and that's from Beverly Store. And I, you can barely see it, but I sewed it. Can you kind of, there, you can see it a little bit. I sewed that paper and then I put it behind both transparencies to make the word pop out a little bit more. Now, because I was gluing to the heart, you know, you could see all the hot glue and everything coming through when I was gluing the clear acrylic. So what I did is I used on this um, inside that lace I just showed you from Beverly's store, this one right here. 
Okay, I glued that all the way around here to cover up all my hot glue. And then I used um, flat back pearl trim that Saw had gifted me on top of that yet again just to add some more dimension. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to back out. How come I always go the wrong way? Sorry, you guys. There is that. Now I'm going to turn this around again because I want to show you how the back looks once again. Okay. On the back of the heart, you can see the divine paper that I used, and I just textured a little bit. And what I wanted to show you is also to help hide the hot glue, and I might have to go sideways. Boy, this is just a turning exhibition, isn't it? This trim is from Beverly's store, this beautiful, um, there you can see, beautiful, kind of like, sorry, beige color trim, beige braid, just one of her new releases out. And I put that all along this edge to cover my hot glue from the ruffle on the other side. So being that opening, I had to like cover the hot glue on the front and on the back. So that's why beautiful, and plus it finishes it off back here. And then again, I used that half back trim, a uh, half back pearl trim to, you know, kind of finish off the back of that, okay? So there's the back once again. Bring it on back out. Hey, I went the right way this time. Yep, see, just finishes it all off very nicely. Okay, and this is just because that bow I did on the front, I just tied it around to the back like that so it's easier. Okay, we're almost done. Turn this around and we'll move down to, but don't you just look at the bottom of that stand. I just love all the curly cues on it. That's just, it's one of my favorite parts of this thing. Okay. So let's move on down to the bottom. I'm going to adjust my camera again. Okay. I'm going to come in a little bit so you can see. There we go. Now down here at the bottom, right in here, I've got a little um, recollections, one of those little paper clips with the flowers on it. I love these things. I want to go back and get like 10 more packs because I just love these little, you know, sprays coming off of it cute little pink flowers because I love pink you know and I just clipped it to the little stand it can come off if she didn't like it but I just it just adds such cuteness I know and then on the bottom down here this is just a flower I had in my stash I got it an antique uh you know a thrift store not an antique mall a thrift store and I just glittered it all up all the leaves and everything, and then I added some texture on it. You can see a little whiteness on the leaves and stuff like that. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see that. You can see the white on the leaves and everything. Okay, and then the flower itself is kind of, you can see it a little bit yellow and kind of a pink color. Well, this pink color was really, really light. So I took Lindy's Stamp Gang spray, it was the Pretty in Pink Pink, and I just sprayed right over all the pink areas. And some areas didn't have pink, and when I sprayed it, it added a little bit. But like this area that was already pink, I sprayed over it again with that Lindy's, and it made it really vibrant and bold. I just love that. And then you can see all the shimmer on top of it, I think, because I can kind of see it in my camera. You know, I shimmered up the flower, and it's just really cute. Let me turn it. Just a beautiful little, look at that, just a beautiful flower. And I again attached it to the stand with wire and then I just covered the wire with that texture paint. Okay, and then the word, imagine, I got that from Michaels, it's just a wooden word. And all I did was texture it up. And I, again, wanted it kind of like in my mini album. I didn't want a whole lot of color on it. But what I did, and it, I'm sure it's hard to see, is I started off with a peach color through here with Lindy Stamp Gang Spray. And then I grabbed my saltwater taffy pink and kind of started over the top of the peach, you know, and then just kind of integrated in into the right side. So I've got peach and then it kind of variegates to the pink color over to this edge. I know! So it kind of gives a little color. And then I added more texture paint over the top of that, so it was just kind of lumpy bumpy. You can kind of see areas that are a little bit more white, like in here and stuff, up in here, you know, just to give it something. And then right here I've got a Recollections flower, and right down here, a little heart. Let me bring it in, you can see, there it is. A little heart-shaped ribbon slider from Beverly's store, and all I did is I cut out the little center bar. Okay, so, you know, because I don't have ribbon through it, and I didn't want it in there, obviously, so it would just look like a nice little free heart. And I just wrapped it with chain around the end of that E there, so it would just dangle. Just adds a really pretty little finishing touch. Anyway, I think I got it all. Whoop, wrong way again. <laughs> 
guys think I get that by now. I keep going the wrong way. I apologize for that. But hey, you know, makes it fun, right? Anyway, so there is my last project for this particular swap I'm in. As usual, all the links will be down below to everything piece by piece and to my blog for direct links to the products in case you just want to go to a particular product. You don't have to search the store for it. But anyway, um, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.